Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites coming in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom known as America, which is Babylon the Great in the Bible. And now we're here to tell you so-called blacks, so-called Native Americans, and you so-called Hispanics that you are the children of Israel, the holy people according to the Bible. But before all that, we want to give all praises unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Wahawah Kakwadash. All right, that's all praise to the Heavenly Father who you ignorantly call God and who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ who's coming back to destroy America with thermonuclear destruction. We want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone and peace, blessing, and mercy to the elect out here pushing this word in sincerity and truth. So all you demons out here celebrating St. Patrick's Day not understanding that this day is wicked and full of paganism. All right? Everybody walking around all happy thinking that this day is a day of mirth. St. Patrick's Day is a wicked holiday, man. All right? You people come out on your day and, and dress up in green and get drunk. Hallelujah! This is a day of, this is a time of destruction for you people, man. You so-called white people about to go into slavery, thus said the Heavenly Father, man. All right? Y'all come out here and get drunk and living your lives in folly, but well, the Lord is about to come destroy this place, man. All right? This Isaiah 5 and 11. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink. So you people wake up early in the morning on St. Patrick's Day, man. Y'all wake up and get y'all y'all take your eggs with drinks on St. Patrick's Day, man. All right, and that's the that's the uh, spirit that's in this place, man. All right, of course that's spiritual strong drink, but you devils out here, y'all wake up early to get drunk, man. All right, what does it say? That they may follow strong drink. That continue until night, till wine inflame them. All right. So you people are inflamed with your wine and your beer and your liquor. All right. And your philosophies and your wicked doctrines. Well, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ is about to come destroy this place, man. Because you people are wicked. All right. You need to be taken out. Thus said the heavenly Father, man. Woe well, unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink that continue until night. You people gonna be out here getting faded all day, man. All right, all day y'all gonna be drinking all the things that's abominable, man, getting drunk, all right? But you so-called white people, that's why y'all gonna go into slavery, man. All your westernization upon the world, got everybody thinking out here they need to wear green or get pinched. Y'all don't even know where wearing green comes from, man. That's, that's fairy mythology, man, all right? The little fairies that come and pinch you if you're not wearing green, man. Y'all don't even know the history of St. Patrick's Day and how it got started, man. It's all paganism, all right? St. Patrick wasn't even Irish. You people don't know nothing about what's going on in this world, man. That's why the Lord about to come destroy you so-called white people, man. And two-thirds of the nation of Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, man. This place got to go, man. America is Babylon the Great in the Bible. And this place is going to be thrown down by the Heavenly Father, who you eagerly call God and Jesus Christ. It's a lock here for the eye wiping, man. This pollen out here tearing me up. This is Jeremiah 49 and 10. But I have made Esau bare. Esau, that's you so-called white people, man. All right, you've been made bare. We're going to let you know about your crimes, man. You people are going into slavery for a thousand years, and then you're going to be exterminated off the face of the earth. Thus saith the Heavenly Father, man. All right? You people are wicked, man. Out here getting drunk all damn day. The Lord is going to destroy y'all for y'all wickedness, man. Behold, I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. Y'all try to hide under this love doctrine. You so-called white people love to hide under love. Let's all love each other. We're all people. Have you committed the biggest, heinous crimes on the face of the planet, man? All right? But the men of the Lord are going to make y'all bare. We're going to let you know about your crimes, man. And the fact that you're getting the biggest judgment according to the Bible. All right? You people are going into a grievous slavery when whom you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ returns, man. All right? Y'all thought that y'all can get away with that. If a man steals a sneaker bar out of a store, you want to give him years in prison. All right? Well, y'all going to get the ultimate judgment. 
thermonuclear missiles are coming to America, man. All right, to destroy you people, man. All right, and his seed is spoiled. All right, you so-called white people are the seed of Esau, man. And you people are spoiled, all right? And you're gonna be destroyed, thus saith the Heavenly Father. All right, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not, all right? So you so-called white people gotta go, man. All right, you people gotta be destroyed because all, everywhere the so-called white man steps, all you reap is havoc and chaos and death and murder. All right. So according to the Holy Holy Bible, you people are going into slavery, man. That's right. Kill Whitey, man. The Lord's going to do it. All right. You, who, you, who you England call God is going to be the one to destroy you people. Who you England call Jesus Christ is a so-called black man according to the Bible. And he's coming back to show judgment upon you devils, man. Hey, can you back up? You can ask a question, but can you back up? All right, back back up. You got a question. Give me my personal space. Just back up. All right, if you got a question, go ahead. So, have the yeah, I got a screen. Read it to you. Alright, we make it look like a quiet voice. <laughs> you gonna back up because your ears right here. Alright. It's Isaiah 58 and 1. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cry aloud and spare not. Alright, so the Bible says to cry aloud. Alright? So if I'm crying aloud, that means I'm not you, if I have to tell the message to the to you people that's coming. Yeah, you want back up, man. This is not a this is not a show. It's not you're a show. on you're on hey, camera, bro. It's in bad Devils, man. Up? That's that demon mentality. You know what I'm saying? All y'all care about. Hey, yo, Julian, say Friday's day. Back up, back up, back up. Woo! Back up. See that? I can't even talk to you, man. He's touching me. Y'all demons. Y'all demons. Because you all in my camera, man. I said give my personal space, man. But you, you set it up in a public you, you, fucking you, place. You proud thing? people, man. Y'all are proud people, man. I am man. proud Italian, son. See that? See, pr hey, the, the Italian. Proud Italian, kid. Italian. Uh, some, some Woo! There's too, but they're going to be destroyed, man. Two thirds of our people gotta go too, they man. Go and that's day, why. Man. See, all they care about is getting drunk. They prideful. You boastful people. All right. Who you even call God is Jesus Christ? God to destroy y'all, man. Because y'all wicked. All the women are sluts. You got men wearing skirts out here, man. This place is full of homosexuality and, and, and wickedness, man. See that? And see they call it a kilt. They call it a kilt. No, that's a skirt. All right. That's a skirt, man. See, that's the problem. You're wearing right a dress yourself, my This is not a dress, man. You people are, are wicked, man. See that? They out here wearing dresses and think that it's, oh, it's called a kilt. Oh, so you put it by a different name. That means it's not a skirt? No, All right? I think so. That's wickedness, man. This is Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So you women ain't supposed to be out here with pants on. All right? And it says... Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So all you men out here wearing kilts, thinking that's not a skirt, you watch your mind, man. That's a skirt. Men out here dressing like women. Women out here dressing like men. That's an abomination to the Heavenly Father, man. That's the problem. This place is confusing. It's flipped on his head, man. You people don't know what's going on. All right? Men out here wearing skirts and thinking, oh, yeah, that's cool. All right? Oh, yeah, that's a kilt. You know what I'm saying? No, that's a damn skirt, man. Wicked ass people, man. And see, they come up and they, they yell on the cameras and just want to be seen by men. That's it. Alright, y'all want to wear skirts? I'm going to tell you about skirts. This is Jeremiah 13 and 22. And if thou say in thine heart, wherefore come these things upon me? All right, so you so-called white people, y'all like, why are these things coming upon us, all right? For the greatness of thine iniquity are thy skirts discovered and thy heels made bare. All right, so the greatness of your iniquity, man. You so-called white people have committed so many crimes on the face of the planet, man. You are nation murderers, all right? So you're gonna be, your skirts are gonna be made bare. The men of the Lord gonna come out and expose y'all because y'all don't wanna talk about slavery. You don't want to talk about the things that you did to our children, our ancestors. Y'all don't want to talk about that. Y'all want to forget the past. But the Lord said he's required that which is past, man. So the Lord ain't, the Lord ain't forget. The Lord hasn't forgotten what you so-called white people done to the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics. The Lord ain't forgot, man. All right? And so y'all keep living it up. You go out here and uh, have fun on y'all St. Patrick's Day, man. All right? Because this is our last slavery. And then we set up for rulership next, man. You people going into slavery next, thus saith the Heavenly Father. That's according to the Bible, man. The people that y'all love, to, the book that y'all love to subscribe to in y'all churches, 
that y'all think, oh, God loves everybody? No, the Most High loves the children of Israel. That's it, all right? He says you other nations are as nothing, man, all right? He reputed y'all as less than nothing. So when the who you ignorant call God and Jesus Christ returns, then you're gonna know. Then you're gonna know who are the people of the Lord, all right? Who you ignorant call Jesus Christ is not some lily pasty white man, all right? He's a, a dark, austere, brown-skinned man from the tribe of Judah, man. Thus saith the Holy Bible. All right, it says, verse 23, can the Ethiopian change his skin or the lepers change his spots? All right, so can a leper change his spots? No, it's nothing you can do about it. So you so-called white people, y'all wicked and there's nothing you can do about it. That's what the Lord set you all up to be. What's All right. So when the time comes for you to be destroyed, that's it. That's it, man. That's all she wrote. Then may you also do good that are accustomed to do evil. So you people that are set up to do evil, you can't do good, man. The Lord didn't put that spirit on you to do good, man. So you don't walk around rock, rocking all green. You don't know why you wearing green. Y'all didn't do no research. Y'all following pagan doctrines. Getting high all damn day, getting drunk all damn day. You people gonna be destroyed when the Lord returns, man. All right, all day y'all just wanna drink. That's all. You don't know who St. Patrick was. St. Patrick wasn't Irish. You people don't know nothing about uh, what's going on in this world. Definitely not the Bible, man. You so-called white people going into slavery, man. Crazy. Crazy. That's said the Heavenly Father, man. Tell them. That's right. Tell them, man. These people gotta know, man. And the middle of the world gonna tell y'all what's happening. All right, this place is gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. Thus said the Lord, man. America is going down. This place that y'all love so much is going down. There will be thermonuclear missiles coming to this place, man, to destroy all the heathen and two thirds of the children of Israel, man. Y'all people are wicked, man. Y'all celebrate what y'all know not. Just celebrating it just because America said it's a holiday, man. That's wickedness. Oh, since I said something, that means do it. Y'all love this society, man. Wearing all this damn green, don't even know where it comes from. That's not even the original color. You people just do it because somebody told you. Y'all is a, a land of followers, man. No leaders in this place, man. But the Lord set up leaders to tell you all the judgment upon this place, man. And you so-called white people going into slavery, man. Thus yeah. said the heavenly father, man. These are, not a, these are not my words, but the word of the father that speaketh in me, man. Yes, sir. And you demons are going down. Go. Roxy. Jeremiah 13 and 24. Dude. Therefore will I scatter them as the stubble that passed away by the wind of the wilderness. All right, he's going to scatter y'all by thermonuclear missiles, man. He's about, he's about to destroy this place to a crisp. There's going to be no more America left on the face of the earth, thus said the Lord, man. Who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ is coming back to do it. All right? The man who you ignorantly call Christ. All right? Y'all don't know what he looks like. You don't know his name. You don't know who he's coming back to save. You people think everybody on the face of the planet is going to be saved, man. Y'all are out of y'all rabbit ass minds. All of the wickedness that y'all do. Men out here, uh, men out here uh, having sex with other men's wives. Y'all out here smoking weed, getting drunk all day, being murderers and thieves. You damn people gotta be destroyed, man. Y'all gotta go. This is verse 26. Therefore will I discover thy skirts upon thy face, that thy shame may appear, man. So the Lord's gonna dis discover y'all skirts, man. So y'all shame is gonna be all over y'all faces, man. All right? Y'all shame is gonna come to y'all faces. Y'all got that so-called white guilt. Y'all gonna turn red hot, man. All right? Y'all shame is gonna cover y'all that smoking and open diet, man. All right? All right, here. Well, look, so-called white people walk around with open open bottles on the street, but nothing happens, right? Let, let, let this be a group of uh, so-called black people walking around getting drunk with, with bottles and uh, cups of uh, drink in their hand, man. All right? They all going to jail. They all going to prison. But this y'all society, man. But y'all rulership is almost over, man. Who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ is coming back to render his judgment upon this place, man. And he's not coming to plead with y'all with flowers and candy. All right? He's coming back with fire and fury, man. Let me get that in Isaiah. Don't let him come back today. That's all I care about. Oh, he ain't coming back today, but when he do, that, 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 that judgment's coming. 
This is Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. All right, so the Lord's coming with fire, man, and his chariots, man, to render his anger upon this place, man. See that? But they say, uh, let him not come back today. They, 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 that's exactly how these people act, man. They think, oh, since the Lord not coming back today, I got another day to do wickedness. All right? But that's cool because they're going to live every day like that. You people going to live every day thinking it's time for uh, salvation, man. All right? It says, uh, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So the Lord, render his, he's going to render his anger upon this place, man. The Lord ain't happy with y'all heathens. The Lord ain't happy with all the wickedness y'all do. The Lord ain't happy with all the abominations and filthiness that y'all commit. All right? You're right, I'm right. It says, for by fire and by sword, by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, man. All right, so when the Lord comes back, he's pleading with a sword, man, and with fire of judgment. Until you so-called white people and two-thirds of the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, man. Because y'all got to go, man. This place is, is wildly polluted, man. This is it a is. filthy land. I feel the pollution. See, they feel the pollution, I man. Feel, I feel the pollution. It, that's because you're smoking it. That's why you feel the pollution, man. That's the problem with these damn people, man. Smoking oh, all these cigarettes, defiling their temples, the wearing man. skirts. Damn this place is defiled, man. I tell you, I this place is defiled, man. You know what I'm saying? She says she smoke wherever she want, but you can't because when you that's the problem. When you smoke wherever you want, that smoke leads to other people, man. That's secondhand smoke. They say secondhand smoke is worse than firsthand smoke. But that's Esau for you, man. That's Esau for you. Think they can do whatever they want, man. I can do whatever I want. That's right. See, they said they can do whatever. And because she says she can do whatever you want, the Lord is going to judge people like that, man. He's coming back with fire and fury to judge people like that, man. Who you eagerly call God and Jesus Christ to come back to judge this place, man, with great wrath. Amen. Wicked ass people, man. Isaiah 66 and 16. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain shall be many, man. The Lord is going to slay many. All right? The Lord is going to kill many people, man. All right? Y'all think it's all a joke, man. See, they go away and they laugh. They have a good time. Y'all think it's, everything is fun and games to you people, man. Everything is all about fun and games, getting how drunk you can get, getting how high you can get so you can escape the reality of what's going on. All right? But when the Lord sends those missiles upon America, it's going to be too late. When those missiles coming from North Korea and Russia and Iran and China, then y'all going to know, man. Then you going to know who the men of the Lord are. Then you going to know that we preached about the elect. This is Jeremiah 49 and 12. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. All right, so the Israelites, we weren't supposed to drink, but the Lord made us drink a, that cup of slavery, that cup of uh, going through all the uh, wicked things that we've been through. All right? But the other nation's about to receive that cup, man, and we're going to uh, raise up in righteousness. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. So you so-called white people, y'all gonna surely drink of that cup of wrath, man. That cup of destruction and that cup of slavery, man. The Lord is a man about balance and war, man. Jeremiah 49 and 13. For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation. So Basra, that's wherever you, you Edomites dwell, man. Wherever you so-called white people dwell. He said this place is about to become a desolation, all right? America's about to become a desolation, man. Desolate means empty. Nothing left in this place. It's gonna be a desert out here, man. All right, it says a reproach, a waste and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be pe perpetual waste. So all of y'all cities, man, South Beach, Miami, West Palm, Chicago, Detroit, all of these cities about to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, man. All right, he said a perpetual waste. That means ongoing, everlasting. I have heard a 
ruler from the Lord and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen. All right? So if you're not a child of Israel, you're a heathen. All right? And the Lord sent his ambassadors to tell you all what's coming to this place. Saying, gather ye together and come against her and rise up to the battle. All right? So we get ready for this, this true war that's coming, man. The war of the Lord, man, who's about to come rain down on this place with fire, missiles, and his chariots. What you eagerly call UFOs, man. Ain't no aliens and UFOs, man. All that mythology, science fiction nonsense, y'all got, man. Those are the angels of the Heavenly Father coming back to destroy this place in this generation. Thus said the Lord, man. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. Thy terribleness hath deceived thee and the pride of thine heart. So how terrible y'all are? It's deceived y'all, man. You so-called white people are prideful. You're a proud people, man. And it's deceived y'all. Since y'all sit on high, since y'all got the best houses and the best cars, hey, we put these, these, these monkey animals, these zoo animals, the coolest monkey in the jungles, we put them into slavery, so we gotta be the people of the Lord, right? No, the Lord says he deal with the meek and the lowly, all right? And those are the people who are gonna rule in righteousness. Y'all worst enemies, the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics are gonna be y'all future rulers, according to the Bible. <laughs> Thy terribleness have deceived thee. Terrible, man. You people are terrible, man. You so-called white people live in mirth, man, a time of happiness. Walking down the street with open bottles and cups in your hand. If these were all so-called black people on the street, cops would be swarming over here arresting everybody. But you devils are wicked, man. And y'all get to do whatever y'all want in your, your kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get to do whatever y'all want. I think it's unfair for you to refer to us as devils. That's what y'all are, according to the Bible. That's what y'all are. Y all, y all, you so-called white people aren't white, y'all red. Next time, check in the mirror when y'all walk in the sun, man. You are walking devils. Y'all not human. Human means to be a man of you, a man of color. All right? He said the Lord didn't exist, man. You hear that? Color doesn't exist. Color doesn't exist. You hear that? It's color everywhere, but color don't exist now. All right? You so-called white people are red, and the people you call black are brown. Different shades of brown. You people don't know nothing, man. Y'all wicked, and y'all foolish. And the pride of thine heart, O oh, thou dwellest in the clefts of the rock. So what does Caucasian mean? Caucasian means cave dweller, all right? Y'all don't even know what your own titles mean. Y'all dwell in the Caucasus mountains. That's where y'all come from, man. And you people gonna be destroyed, man. Y'all, why y'all think y'all build all these high-rise buildings? Because y'all like living in the mountains, in the caves. It says, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill, though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, so y'all make your nest as high as the eagle. Get all these high-rise apartments, you know what I'm saying? And look on the back of y'all dollar. What mascot animal is on the back of y'all dollar? Is it not the eagle? All right? Is it not the eagle? I will bring thee down from this, said the Lord, man. So who you even call God of Jesus Christ is about to come bring y'all down, man. All right? Because y'all y'all proud. Y'all fly higher than everybody. Y'all think y'all rule this society? Well, y'all time of rulership is up, man. Because y'all, when the Lord gave y'all the time to rule, y'all did it in wickedness. You enslave people. You commit genocides. You thieve. You steal. You, you homosexuals. Look, when you were put in rulership, you destroyed the earth, man. Y'all destroyed it. The water is tainted. You can't even find pure water nowadays. Not even in bottled water, man. The, the air is tainted. Y'all put chemtrails in the air. Everything y'all do is defiled, man. So the Lord says y'all gotta die because of that, man. Who you in when you call God and Jesus Christ is coming to destroy this place, man. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. So let me give y'all a little biblical history. Edom are the children of a man named Esau. Esau in the, in the Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, means is Aishashua, which means wasted away as he. All right? Because y'all don't got no pigment in your, your, uh, your skin. Y'all the only people on the face of the planet who has no pigment. Everybody got some kind of color except y'all, man. Y'all walk into the sun and y'all burn up. 
You're a leprous, all right? Y'all are leprous people. Your skin flakes, you burn up in the sun, all right? So the Lord's gonna destroy y'all, man. You have a curse from the begin the foundation from your foundation. It says, also Edom shall be in desolation. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. All right, so when this place is destroyed, y'all all, all these other nations that y'all have sold and uh, with y'all merchantry, y'all uh, goods, China buying all y'all goods up, you know, they're gonna be astonished when this place is destroyed. But they going into slavery too, under the children of Israel. The Bible was too for and about the Israelites, man. The so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics. That's the only people the Bible is for. All right? As in, the, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities thereof, saith the Lord, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. So ain't nobody gonna abide in this land. This is modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon, wrapped up in one, man. Get your, no, you're gonna die in it. That's what's gonna, That's gonna happen, man. Lord willing, the men of the Lord are going to be raised up out of this place. That thing y'all like to call the rapture, all right? Those are the elect, the 144,000, and his elect are going to be sealed up out of this place, man. The Lord deals with few people, just like in the days of Noah. Out of all the people on the face of the planet, Noah was the only, Noah and uh, seven other people were the only ones put on the ark, man. All right? So out of a whole world, only eight people were saved. All right? The Lord deals with, who you even call God and Jesus Christ are so-called black men. Y'all worst nightmare. They are so-called black men, all right? There is no uh, confusion about that. He ain't Middle Eastern. He ain't olive skin, all right? He's a so-called black man. sunshine state and just think everything is about folly and oh it's beautiful outside the sun is out the clouds are up all right well you England call Jesus Christ it's gonna be dark out here man all right because his, his chair is gonna cover the skies this is Joel 2 and 1 blow ye the trumpet in Zion so a guy came up earlier and said hey man why are you so loud because we supposed to be trumpets and watchmen unto the children of Israel y'all hear no quiet trumpets in bands all right who you even call Jesus Christ wasn't a quiet man? Y'all thought he spoke to 5,000 people by being quiet and speaking like a woman? No, man. He was a loud, austere man so where everybody could hear him. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. So when who you even call God and Jesus Christ returns, you people are going to tremble, man. Y'all knees going to buckle. You got people, men gonna be out here acting like women, crying. People gonna die instantly when they see the Lord, man. For the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand, man. These are the end days for you so-called white people, man. All right, it's time for the rulership of the righteous children of the Lord, man, who can do his bidding in righteousness. A day of darkness and of gloominess. A day of clouds and of thick darkness, all right? So it's gonna be a day of darkness, man, all right? When y'all see the Lord and he come in with his chariots, every eye shall see him. Everybody's gonna come out of their houses. Everybody's gonna come out of these fancy malls and hotels. Everybody's gonna look up and see the Lord, man. And then y'all gonna know that the men of the Lord been telling you the truth. That those bums on the corner screaming nonsense were telling the truth. That's, that's the only moment when y'all gonna hear it. Man, y'all gonna know before that, actually. Because when famine is about to take over America, all right, it's going to be famine and drought and martial law. It's going to be chaos in these streets, man. All these people y'all walking side by side with going to be y'all enemies, man. This is Matthew 10 and 34. This is coming out who you eagerly call Jesus Christ mouth, man. Think not that I am coming to send peace on earth. The Lord ain't coming to send peace, man. That peace nonsense is out of your mind. Peace ain't never worked, ever. Tell me a time in history where peace has worked and one people have not triumphed over a 